Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Property Management 101, and today I'll be sharing with you tips for first-time landlords. Another video that may be very helpful for this topic that I've also posted is titled Becoming a Landlord. I'll post the link to that video in the description as well. That video is more about the steps you should be taking before you become a landlord. This video is great for anyone that's already become a landlord. Now here are three tips I'll be sharing with you today that I would recommend for any landlord. Number one, know your local laws and regulations when it comes to renters. There's gonna be a lot of different things that you're gonna be regulated by that you wanna ensure you have a full understanding to avoid any type of violation. For example, you're gonna wanna know your local tenant landlord laws for your particular state. This will be really important that not only that you know those, but if you do hire a property management company, you know that they're following it as well. If they actually take an action or suggest something to you as an owner that you know is in direct violation of that, you can speak to that. You can ensure that you're hiring a property manager that's consistently following them. Another couple things to keep in mind is your local magistrate laws. So in the event you have to file eviction, you wanna know what steps you have to take. What fees are gonna be associated with them? Do you have to hire legal counsel in the order to file? Certain states and magistrates are very different how they file eviction. It's also gonna to wanna to be important that in the event you win judgment and you win your possession back of your unit, how do you file for any type of sheriff force lockout? These are gonna be really important steps that you know before you ever have to go down the road of an eviction so you can quickly illustrate and take the steps of everything they're looking for. Another important thing to know is your fair housing laws for your particular state. You always wanna know all the federal fair housing laws, but there are some states that have some additional, for example, protected classes. This will be important for you to know as well. Another entity that you really wanna know is your state's real estate commission rules and regulations when it comes to renters. This is gonna be something as well that's gonna be really important to know. Some states are more involved as far as the real estate commission when it comes to renters, and some states are less involved, but either way, you're gonna to wanna to know their rules or regulations. With all these entities, you're really gonna to wanna to also know if the resident files a complaint, the steps you need to take to ensure that you're not in violation. And a pro tip for you today is I've seen a lot of investors do this, especially investors that are actually living out of state and they're not as familiar with that local state's tenant landlord laws. They'll actually get a real estate license in the state they have an investment in. This is a really good idea because what it allows you to do as an owner is really ensure that your property management company or you, if you're managing out of state, are taking the necessary steps to make sure you're not in any type of violation. I would recommend this for anyone that has an investment in a state that they've never had an investment before and especially if you're not hiring a property manager. The second tip I would highly recommend if you're a first time landlord is do your market research. Now this is something I wouldn't just do one time and never do it again. I would periodically perform some market research as markets see different trends, they see different things occur within the market. It'll be really important that you do this and perform this periodically to ensure that you have a good grip of the market your investment is in. Here's some things you should be aware of and know regarding your investment market area. Who are the big employers? Are there any local universities or colleges that are nearby your investment? What are the local school districts as well as private schools to your investment? What are some of the local parks that are nearby, maybe within walking distance or a short drive? What's the big demographic of the area? What is the age range? What is maybe the average salary of your demographic in your area? Knowing this type of information will be really helpful even when you're considering upgrades to your investment property. And I hope you're enjoying this video and learning something new. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And the third best practice I'll be sharing with you today is know your strategy. This is probably the biggest mistake and the most common mistake I see that landlords make is not identifying their investment strategy. If you do decide to move forward and hire a property management company, and in most cases I would recommend that be the case, keep in mind that just knowing your strategy is not important enough. It is equally important, in some cases more important, that you relay that strategy with great detail to the property management company so they can execute their steps to take to make sure that every decision they're making falls in line with your asset strategy. 
I would be very clear with this with any property management company. I would discuss it in your first meeting with them. I would put it in writing with them. I would really make sure it's reiterated multiple times, not just by their property manager they assign to your property, but also the executives for the company as well, including leasing, including assistant managers, staff like that will be important for them to be aware as well. Here's a few different strategy concepts to consider if you're not sure where to start when it comes to the strategy of your property. One thing that you may consider for your strategy is overall rent growth. Hey, you really want to achieve higher rent growth. You know where the rents that are achieving now, and you do believe based off your market research that you could really push rents at your property. Maybe you're looking to have your strategy be a long-term asset with appreciation. Maybe you're looking to possibly sell this asset in the near future, and you want to ensure that it's in the best position possible to maximize that selling price. Another investment strategy is that you just want to generate overall the most amount of cash flow possible. Another common strategy is that you're going to be looking to refinance this in the near future to cash out maybe a big chunk or all of that initial investment you put into the property. Keep in mind, your strategy can and will change as market trends continue to change in your area. And a bonus tip for you today, I would also highly recommend if you don't have another investment already in that area to join a local real estate group. They have local association chapters for different types of groups. I would highly recommend joining one of these as this is a great place to find out information about vendors, local laws or questions you have about them, finding things like good lawyers, good practices in your area, also find out maybe achieved rents. Because keep in mind, sometimes it's hard to do market research. You may see an advertised rent, but what was the actual achieved rent? So these are some really good things to know and pull from any type of meeting you may have with a local group. If you follow these steps, I am very confident you're gonna position your asset to be in the best possible position to be as successful as possible. If you've not already done so, please watch my disclosure video as well as my why do this video. And I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications for future videos. If you've not done so already, please make sure you're following and connected with our LinkedIn page as well as our Instagram page. Both those links will be provided in the video description as well. And if you have any questions about this video or any of my videos, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to address for you. Happy leasing.